Hello everyone, welcome back to Lead Coding. The problem which we are going to solve today is maximum level sum of a binary tree. We are given the root of binary tree. The level of its root is 1, the level of its children is 2 and so on. We have to return the smallest level x such that the sum of all the values of nodes at that level is maximal. So in the given example, the first level is only having one node which is 1 and the sum is 1. The second level is having 7 and 0 as two nodes and the summation is 7. The third level is having 7 and minus 8 and the summation is minus 1. So in this case the answer is the level 2 in which the sum is 7. So this is how we have to solve this problem and we can solve the problem using level order traversal. Level order traversal is a frequently asked question in programming interviews. So today we will learn how to implement level order traversal. So let us say we are given a binary tree. So these are the nodes. Now we want to perform the level order traversal. We will start from the very first level. So in order to do this, we will need a queue. So Q is a data structure which is going to insert element from the back and pop them out from the front. So if one is there in the queue initially, we will print it and we will pop it out. So we will have one here and one will be popped out. When we are popping one, at the same time we will insert its children. So one is having two and three as its children. So we will insert 2 and 3 and now the queue will be 2 at, at the front and 3 next. So this will be the configuration of the queue. Now we are going to pop uh, 2 and 3, both of them. So we are going to print 2 and 3. When we are popping 2, we will be inserting we will be inserting uh, 4 and 5 when we are popping 3 we will be inserting 6 and 7 so this will be the next configuration of the queue so at a single time we have to print all the elements which are present inside the queue so now all of these four elements will be printed and popped and their children will be pushed back so let us try to code this and then we can understand it in a better way. So first of all we will need a queue. Queue will be of type pointer to tree node. If root is not equal to null we are going to push root in the queue. Now while Q is not empty we have to perform this operation first of all we will need the size of the queue the current size of the queue which is q.size so we need this size because uh, in the first case the size was 1 when the root node was there so we will only pop one element in the next iteration when the size is 2 we will have to pop 2 elements and in the next iteration we will have to pop 4 elements so we will have to pop uh, as many times as there are number of elements present inside the queue I'm just going to pop the first element so this is the first element in the queue if we have the left child we will be pushing it to the queue if the right child is there we can push it
and q dot pop now this is how we perform the level order traversal but we have to count the sum at each level so let us take the initial sum the m sum which is the maximum sum as int min and at each level I am going to take a temporary sum which is equal to 0 and each time we are going to add the value of a into this temp now when we are done with the entire level so after this we will see what is the value of temp if this value of temp is greater than the m sum the maximum sum then our answer will be the level all right so we will have to keep another variable for the level so initially the level is 1 and each time it is incremented so answer is equal to L and maximum sum will become temp now we will keep incrementing the level also and finally we can return the answer it is the answer variable let us try to run this it is giving us a correct answer for this test case let us try to submit so it got accepted so this is how we perform the level order traversal each time we are printing all the elements which are present inside the level and at the same time well, when we are popping them out we are pushing their children into the queue now we are taking the summation in this a temporary variable and then we are comparing this temporary variable with the maximum the global maximum that we had now talking about the space and the time complexity the space complexity in this case is big O of n because in worst case there will be n by 2 nodes so as we saw in this example in the final configuration of the queue we are going to have 4 elements so, so the last level it always have n by 2 element of the entire tree in the worst case so in the worst case the space complexity is going to be big O of n and the time complexity of course it is going to be big O of n as well because uh, we, we are uh, computing for each of the node which is present inside the tree now we can solve the same problem using DFS as well so if we are applying DFS and if we are incrementing the level we are passing the level within the DFS function so it would be of uh, something like this void DFS where we have a tree node and a level so at each level first of all if this uh, root is null we are going to return if it is not equal to null then we will uh, we will have a global vector which will be for which we will increment the count of this particular level like this yeah so we will keep doing this till the time we traverse the entire tree and then we can actually traverse through that vector the global vector and we can uh, return the answer
so we can solve the problem using DFS as well but the intention was to teach the implementation of level order traversal and that's what we did in this problem so if you like the video please hit the subscribe button thank you